Flavor. Nigga woke up, if I up it, I'ma need a new taser. Phasers, Call of Duty scope from long range. Point six two, we in favor. My Charlotte niggas throwing bees, bitch. Baylor, I made my own. Yo, what's up? Hey man, welcome to I will be gaming. It's I will be gaming. Yeah, you know, first video for the gaming channel. First, first reaction. reaction. Yeah, you know, that's crazy. You thought might as well. I seen other YouTubers, you know, kind of like implement that to their channel, to your, to your, on their gaming, to react to gaming based stuff. So, maybe, might, might as well, you know? Yeah. And, yeah but Why not? Us, yeah, let us know what other uh, game related stuff you want to see down in the comments. You know, there's any trailers, anything that come out? Anything. Or any gameplays you want us to react to, stuff like that. Any gamer, it's anything, you know? Just let us know in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe, and share. It's a road to 100 subscribers. Mm -hmm. Really appreciate all the support. But, but yeah, but today we're watching. I didn't say what we want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're watching uh, Saints Row 2022 things you might have missed from the Video Game Awards gameplay. When was the Video Game Awards? I don't know. Uh, let's know in the comments if you know if you know what that was. Yeah, there's a few games that came out of nowhere. Like, that, uh, what was that Matrix shit? I thought it was fake when I first seen it. I'm like, Matrix, a game? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, bro. And everything's looking way more realistic and shit. Can you imagine that in VR? That'd be crazy. Yeah. I'm telling you, like 20, 20 years, man. All this technology gonna be at a point where it's just gonna be like, like damn, cool dive. If you could just like, you can even tell. Yeah, be actually be in the thing. Yeah, but uh, like we said, hit that like, my subscribe, and share. If you want to see more videos, let us know in the comments if you want to see one right now. New reboot trailer dropped, so you know what that means. Analysis time, starting with what looks to be some funky idol-looking weapon skin on dual-wielding Mac 10s. Moving on, we have some cinematic shots. We've seen this already. Although, I did notice there's a video store here. It would be pretty cool if these video stores were enterable, and that's where you go to replay missions and cutscenes. Unlikely, but just a thought. The textures in the distance seem to not be properly loaded, which is concerning for me considering they haven't stated this is pre-alpha gameplay like they did in the previous trailers. The sign to the right of the screen says, this could be your sign, which leads me to believe that when you purchase your various criminal ventures, you may get some billboards of your boss throughout the city, as you did in Saints Row 2. In the back, we can see a location of a friendly fire and also a jerry can on the ground. I'm wondering if that will be a usable weapon or not. This district here heavily reminds me of the Red Light District from Steelport. Funny enough, it was one of the very few memorable locations on that game, map. The Hopefully this time around, the red light looking area is even better than before. Although, if we look closer at the doors, we can see that none of these bars look like they're enterable, which is a bit unfortunate. In a lot of these shots we've seen so far, we can see some enemy idle grunts tagging walls, which is a bit strange given that they have already confirmed tagging will not be coming back. These reoccurring shots kind of give off the wrong impression that the feature is coming back. You can also see one of the toxic waste criminal ventures in the background. It looks like Big Willie's cab company will be making a return. I also want to point out that this particular car that the cab car is, is shown very often in the footage I've seen. It is in fact a new car in the series, but I hope there's a ton of variety when it comes to the vehicles, in particularly the cars, because that's the main means of transportation in the game. In this shot here, we see what looks to be the leader of the marshals. If we zoom into the screen on the wall, we can see that it says CEO A. Marshall's constantly ongoing feud with the gang known as the Saints, implying that the leader of the Marshall's name is A. Marshall, which I'm assuming has to be this cowboy Doug Dimmadone looking dude. <laughs> Doug Dimmadone. Mr. T looking dude sporting some big ass chains, which I'm extremely pleased to see return. You can also see he's wielding a very strange looking mule <coughs> that is reminiscent of Wolverine. Also, I've noticed that the beards in the game look a lot better than the previous installments. In Saints Row the Third and Saints Row Four, like, the beards like were Saints Row. Yeah. So there would be no depth to them, which would make it lack appeal to some people who would want that thick, scruffy biker beard look. I gotta say, a lot of the Panteros seem to be so jacked up on steroids, they low-key remind me of the Luchadors. Some people have been claiming that they are a mix between the Carnales and the Brotherhood. Personally, I find that they are a mix of the Luchadors and the Brotherhood, if we're going based off looks. I do like the fact that cornrows are making a return. I just hope the hair options, they take that extra step and give us the option to choose different lengths yes. like they did in 
Saints Row 1. After all, according to Volition, this is the most in-depth character creator we'll be seeing in this series. Okay. This gun here is part of the Panteros American Muscle DLC. I've noticed a lot of the shots that a bunch of the guns have different color muzzle flashes, otherwise known as tracer rounds in COD terms. Hopefully we can change the color of our tracers while customizing oh, our weapons. Yeah, yeah. Here we have a returning tattoo from Saints Row 2. Very nice. This bat is part of the Idols Anarchy Pack DLC, and I have no idea what this guy is wearing on his face. The look of the marshals have been very yeah, polarizing for some. In fact, some people flat out hate it. But to me, I honestly like the design better than Stag. They yeah, look was, like a mix better. between Masako and Stag to me. I do like the look of the rifle too, and it looks like weapon camos will be a thing, which is always fun to play around with. You can also see that, again, this weapon has different color <coughs> tracer rounds, which further backs up my claim earlier that we can change the tracer colors. I'm really not a fan of these laser looking things at all. I just can't get behind more sci-fi stuff in this series. I've already been dealt enough torture with that during the course of Saints Row 4. Please, hashtag no lasers, for the love of God. This gun looks to be a mix of a futuristic martial weapon and an old western model 1887 lever action yeah, shotgun. Remember, Pretty right? cool looking. Yeah. I can only assume this shot is the boss giving the iconic saint speech during some point in the storyline. We also, for the first time, see some generic saints grunts, and to be quite honest, they look pretty good. Now, I'm not sure if this is something they've recently changed <coughs> with the new time they have due to the delay, or if this is how they've always looked, but I honestly like the look of them, especially <laughs> the blue <bulletproof laughs> vest. I have a feeling I'll be making like an outfit that remember. consists of the vest during a playthrough at some point. But yeah, other than that, these guys don't look like dweebs, so that's good, I guess. It is a bit strange to me that the boss is the only one rocking purple here, considering the main theme of the HQ's yeah, windows behind the gang is, in fact, purple. I guess we'll have to wait and see when they officially make the switch from teal to purple in the story as we learn more. Here we can see the boss holding what looks to be an AS-3 Ultimax shotgun from Saints Row the Third, and we see a Marshall Grunt sporting dual-wield magnums, which kind of look like they have silencers on them. We can also see a Nelson parked in the back, and two swindles even further back. It's a bit funny that when the player fired the RPG, the rocket doesn't even leave the barrel. Just a tad frightening, because this footage does not say pre-alpha. But hey, they've got nine more months. I'm sure they'll fix this, right? Some more gameplay of the tether feature. Looks like this will be fun, but I hope it's something they don't overuse for missions too, too often. Yeah, Keep like, it feeling yeah, special. Really they also seem to love this specific too. area to show yeah, off the tether. Some gameplay of the new taunt, which looks like the DX suck it crotch chop. RPG approves. Also, idle grunts holding a shovel and an axe melee weapon. Again, this is the car I was talking about earlier that I seem to see quite often during the gameplays we've seen. The cops seem oh, quite aggressive, and the chase sequences honestly yeah. look amazing. Some wingsuit gameplay, and of course, that same car. I will say that the gameplay looks really good when there's absolutely no HUD at all. It'll be good if you can turn it off whenever you'd like to get some extra cinematic shots for videos. Another reason why I'd like a Rockstar editor type feature, but that's a rant for a different video. Some various idle boats attacking the playa. I'm wondering if you can change the tracer rounds on tanks as well, because you can see a blue tint the explosion gives off from the rocket here. The engine blower on this pickup truck looks absolutely insane. It looks like we're gonna be seeing some pretty awesome car customization, which is one of the most anticipated features that I would like to see next. Per that was some I really like no last game. I was, I, the only one I played was the one with the one he said he hated was the one with the aliens and shit. I didn't hate it. I just didn't like it too much. I like the third one better. The powers and shit was okay. I, I felt like that was where people kind of lost it. Where it felt like it kind of derived too much. The aliens and uh, people like the powers, right? I just like, I just like how you just fight like the rebel gangs and stuff. Yeah, that the customization. I mean, the hand-to-hand -hand combat was good. It was decent. The guns were good. They had that one you can stick up people's asses and like shoot them in the air. <laughs> they had good stories. Yeah, the story was fun. Especially like Kill Man. I'm fucking, uh, what's it called? The Mortar Store? It was crazy. That's why I like the third one, because, like, there was more, was like, you could, you could do more without, like, having to be, like, ultra. Yeah. It looked nice so far, though. It does look more realistic. Yeah. This car and stuff looks, looks better very GTA strange. Real. Tiny compact sports car. Yeah, that's not, it's a that's not truck realistic. It's flying like it weighed little to nothing. I hope the cars we enter don't become pretty much indestructible like they did in Saints Row 3 and 4, as it drastically lowers the difficulty level of the game. Furries? Here we have a Karate Kid kick to an NPC in a place I'm almost certain is Fight Club, but we'll get back to that in just a moment. We can see more footage of what looks to be an Atlas Breaker monster truck on the left, and to the far right, we can see a 
garbage truck in the middle of a firefight. Another old western style weapon, maybe a pump action pistol, or one of those pistols you have to cock back after every shot. Here is what is most likely the leader of the idols, hitting a rival Panteros member in the face with a bat. If I had to guess, I'd say this comes from a cutscene. Here we have a new off-roading type compact vehicle mid-car chase with a tornado helicopter chasing it. We have footage of a, a, a hoverboard. Not sure how I feel about this, but Boy, yeah, it's goblin. there. Yeah, it's we also have fun. a taxi cab with a freckle bit. Sorry, FB's advertisement on the side of the car. Okay, I'm like 90% sure this is yeah, Fight Club. Okay. We do know that there's a dojo fighting academy in the game, and the gritty vibe to this scene almost screams out Fight Club in your face. I could be totally wrong, but let's weird, hope man. our beloved activity is finally making a proper return. Probably this seems like it will take place in the museum on the map we've seen a couple times in previous trailers. Maybe a heist mission of sorts. A very Saints Row 4 looking weapon skin on the sniper. Oh god, please god no. This screams Guardian Angel and I truly hope I'm wrong about this. Please god, don't bring back Guardian Angel. Notice how in this shot the player shoots the car which then sets off the car to drive forward and explode. Maybe environmental attacks are a new element of firefights which mm. would add a deeper level of immersion to That'd the world. Cool. I have to say, this Pantero Scorpion motor stronghold looks beautiful with the lighting system and the explosions and I'm excited like to explore like a, uh, this area. Here we see the boss wearing an outfit things. that looks exactly yeah. like Eli's. Yeah, Eli out. does in fact look like a man child. In this shot we can see that the Stillwater Sharks will be coming to the Smelter Dome on Friday the 19th. A nice callback to the SR2 universe. We can also see that the beer hat is returning and what kind of looks like a do-rag under the hat. I think. It's either a do-rag or some yeah, weird looking hair. Do Hopefully That's a do-rag. Do but yeah. We can also see some Marshall's do -rag like cops in the Saints, yeah. so it's a little bit of a three-way firefight. It would be cool if these things happen naturally in the open world. This is also co-op gameplay as it goes back and forth between boss shots. Okay, what the fuck? This force field shield thing right. just no why? <laughs> like I said earlier, right. I'm not really a fan of the sci-fi elements of this it game. Like we see another old school yeah, type weapon just... shoot an enemy through a crate as like, well. I've we never can see the return like of the that. death lessons right, from Saints Row the Third. Right. We can see an FBs, a furry, a fat cop, and a building that says vertical slice. Like, that could be somewhat of a callback yeah. of oh, oh, vertical the volition of vertical slice presentations of older Saints Row titles. Or maybe I'm just reaching. That's why I with tongue physics. Nice. I really like the look of this crash through the glass looks awesome in 4k 60 fps yes. also oh, also shit. notice when That's they hit wow. the taxi cab the driver window oh, and like, like the glass the That's... SR2. <laughs> to some extent, <laughs> looks good though in this frame you can see channel 39's hq <laughs> this <laughs> might just be the breaking news <laughs> channel that you may hear reporters talking about recent crimes on the radio like you would in previous saints row games <laughs> said that this year's heat wave has made this summer the worst in Stillwater's history. Today, another feather has been added to this year's dubious cap. Some people have been claiming that there might be a boost button for the VTOL, but to me, it just looks like the footage is speed ramped. I will say that the reflections look good though. The ragdoll physics when running over pedestrians definitely look a lot better than Saints Row 3 and 4. Here we can see Eli shooting a K8 Krukov, and if we zoom in, we can see the words Made in USA Steelport, which is a callback to the city from SR3 and 4, of course. The boss on the left here is sporting some Jim Robs overalls. I can only imagine that these different outfits with this specific background is the player choosing their clothes from the wardrobe in your starting apartment crib. Gas mask looks cool. I do like the fact that the boss's body is a lot more realistically proportioned than in SR3 and 4. I'm glad we don't have to look like we've been injecting hardcore steroids for the last three years and we can finally look like an average redditor now. Some different variants of the hammerhead which again yeah, makes me think that the car customization goes hard. really in depth. I can't wait to see more of this. The second variant is a bit strange though. The car is lower like and the fake cardboard the exhaust right. at the top. Uh, they, they look strange. Regardless though, I plan on making a special series of videos regarding the cars of the Saints Row franchise. We can see another FBs in the background here while the boss is shooting at a random enemy car. It seems the feature where you can lay on a vehicle and shoot can also be done while on boats. Some sort of stomp ability. I really, really, really hope the sci-fi stuff isn't too fast during the main story. As for me personally, that would take away the realistic and a little bit more grounded feeling they are claiming they are going for this time around. We can also see a Titan armored truck in the background. I hope Volition has taken notes from what people have said about the GTA trilogy. People really do not like glowing outlines on enemies. If anything, just have a toggle that allows us to turn it off. This looks like it's most likely trailblazing gameplay, as the ATV is making all cars in its immediate vicinity 
explode. This takedown here reminds me of the takedown you could perform in Gat Out of Hell. This seems like some sort of Marshall's jump pad that allows you to get height for the wingsuit. We can also see what looks to be a racetrack of some sort, which I'm excited for. We can see two enemy tornado helicopters attacking oh, the player. Man. A bit strange how the RPG kind of appears out of thin air, but I'm assuming it's because we can't see the weapon wheel because of the HUD being turned off. Notice, when they fire the weapon, the rocket again doesn't even leave the barrel of the gun. And yeah, there you have it. A lot of people have been asking my thoughts, but to be quite honest with you, it's the same thoughts I've had for the last couple trailers. That was pretty much more of the same, and I feel they should show us either customization or some of the storyline stuff for the next gameplay showcase. I will say that although they have been claiming this game tonally is between Saints Row 2 and Saints Row the 3rd, it seems to me this game is looking very much between the likes of Saints Row 3 and Saints Row 4 instead. Then again, we still really haven't seen that much, especially in terms of story. I just hope the next video we get isn't an action sizzle reel and is more of a developer commentary oh, walkthrough really. type video, as I feel those are a lot more effective. Anyways, this has been your boy RPG for everything Saints Row plus more. Stick with me. See you later, pimps. I'll catch you on the flip side. I think grounded and real world is looking at like just interaction with the environment, cars, stuff like that. I feel like this Saints Row is going to be cool because it's just going to be like, it's going to be futuristic, but not too futuristic. It's going to be so, it's different. Yeah, like, I mean. Unique stuff. I like that hoverboard. Yeah, I like that hoverboard. Hoverboard option's nice. I like that little thing, that little shield it through, and like you can see people through it, and even shooting through it. Yeah. I'm like, that shit's hard. I was like, yeah, that shit you actually got to think about. Hang gliding is whatever, I guess. I mean, if you got a fucking hoverboard and shit, I feel like you would get like a jetpack or some shit. Yeah, they probably got like flight suits. Or like, I don't know, like. I don't know. That'd be hard. Even okay. with some Iron Man armor or some type shit. But it looked like it was like all on the same map. It didn't look, the map didn't look too big. Yeah, man. It looked yeah. like all on the same place. Yeah, I was doing like that desert part. Yeah. I mean, you may be able to like leave a, leave a city or something like that. Which would be better than Saints Row 4 because you was literally stuck in a fucking city with aliens and shit. But, yeah. Yeah, it just seems all right, man. It seems all right. It don't look too bad. I'm this sorry. Dude talking about he don't like sci-fi and shit, man. I'm like, this, this dude got a zero vendetta against sci-fi and shit. I'm like, man. We're about to head into the future. Now you want to be stuck in 2003 or some shit. Like, so, yeah, just... <laughs> I don't know. But if y'all want to see more reactions, let us know in the comments. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share, man. It's a road to 10K subscribers. See you next time. We'll be. Peace. Peace.